What's up, gang? Case here with our at-home strength work for Tuesday, April 13th. Had to think about the date. Three rounds uh, today of max effort minus two deficit push-ups, so you're not going to total burnout on those. Leave a couple in the tank today. We'll push the reps up uh, in the upcoming weeks. Then 12 uh, plank rows per arm. This will be our highest volume week for plank rows, and then we'll try to go heavier on this lift next week. And then we'll finish up each round with a 45 second forearm plank. On that deficit push up, looking to elevate our hands four to six inches. Just be sure you can get that chest all the way to the ground. Set up those objects wide, just wide enough so that you can get chest and ribs in between. Toes together. Think about standing tall once you're in this position. Your shoulders are right over your hands at the top. Get your neck in line with the rest of your spine. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly. As we come down, those hands should finish next to the ribs, so don't get back too far. Try to touch the chest all the way to the ground, back to full extension at the top. If you're getting to the ground really easily with that four inch deficit, then add a little bit of height. Try to get more of a six inch deficit. If you feel yourself laying your quads on the ground or raising your chest up first, or maybe you're not getting full range of motion, then elevate those hands up to a box and you'll do those reps at the same tempo. Getting that full range of motion and then doing the push-ups off of your toes is always gonna be a better option than going down to your knees. Movement number two today, we've got that plank row. So find an object that's about knee height to support one hand on. About a shoulder width stance, just to give you a little bit better balance here. And then this fist is gonna be right beneath your shoulder, so your other hand will be out in front on that object. Same thing here, get tall, try to have your neck in line with the rest of your spine, squeezing quads, butt, and belly, and then you're gonna keep that elbow close to your side as you row. 12 reps, pause at the top for a moment, long reach in the bottom. Finishing up each set with a 45 second forearm plank, toes together, elbows and hands in line with our shoulders, so don't put those hands together, and let's go open palm on the ground. Keep your shoulders stacked right over top of your elbows, so don't get forward, don't get behind. Long leg, squeeze your quads, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly. See, there's a theme here today. And then pulling our elbows towards our toes and our toes towards our elbows. And that's just gonna lock that plank down a little more, allow us to engage some more muscles there. 45 second hold, um, long breath in, long breath out. See how few breaths you can take over the course of that 45 seconds. Three rounds, take about a 30 second break in between each movement. Uh, good luck on your strength work and we'll see you back soon for our Metcon.